Welcome to the Global Health Video Class. My name is Dr. Elvira Burakochia. I'm the President and CEO of Realizing Global Health. You can find us at realizingglobalhealth.com. And if you want to know more about human rights today, that is the topic. We're continuing our series of talking about rights-based approaches to public health and what they mean in global health, how we can really advance the agenda. We talked about how the agenda of the Millennium Development Goals now going into the, not only the, the Millennium Development Goals, that agenda that has not finished, but things that have not been achieved yet, but then translating that into sustainable development goals, going from the MDGs to the SDGs. How we can really, by looking at the international legislation and human rights really advance what we do because now we are in an amazing time in which we have the technology, we have the knowledge, all the medical scientific knowledge to save millions of lives, to treat and prevent most of the conditions that affect our species. So it's so important that we look for ways in which we can really translate and deliver that knowledge, that medical care to everyone, everywhere, every day. Nobody should die of preventable condition in the 21st first century. That, that should be completely unacceptable because that means that we haven't been smart enough to figure out a way to make it happen, to deliver it to everyone. And now we really have the technology to make it happen. If we just make a little shift and that shift is looking at the international legislation on human rights. We talked about the right to development, we talked about the right to health in previous videos. Today I want to talk about two very important legislations that I believe every health professional should be very, very familiar with. One is the Convention of the Rights to the Child. The Convention of the Rights for the Child is a very, very short document, in fact. The Rights of the Child is, um, if I recall correctly, about 40 articles. And if you read this, t again, you print it, read it, read it aloud with all your team. And as a health professional, you look, how can I advance what I do every day to help meet the rights of every child in my community? Every patient that comes, every child that is born in your community has to be part of your denominator. That means that you have that as your target population for you to reach and to work with others. Nobody says that you have to do this on your own. To work with others to make sure that the rights of every child are being respected, fulfilled, and protected. The other uh, important piece of legislation that you have to read, which is also very short, uh, 10 pages only, is the Convention on the Elimination of All forms of, forms of Discrimination Against Women. We know that MDG 5, the Millennium Development Goal 5 about maternal health is the MDG that is far behind compared to the other MDGs. We know that the quality of health care that women get is not up to the standard, so we know what it takes to save a woman's life. How is it that now still hundreds of thousands of women die during pregnancy or delivery is just unacceptable. Nobody should die because of pregnancy or delivery in this century. That is something that is discrimination and we need to make sure that women, not because of the fact of being women, the fact that they are human beings. As men, we are human beings and we have the same rights and we have to have access to quality health care that meets our needs. So I want you to read also the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, the CEDO. And as you think, what can I achieve in 2015 that will help advance? Just another, make another shift. Instead of going in this direction, make a little shift that will help you apply some one or two aspects, at least, of the CEDO in your work because everything that we do impacts the right to health of every human being, either child or woman or man. We are all part of the same species, we're all human beings, we all have the same rights. And you as a health professional, you working in a government, you working in a donor organization, you do your share to make that human right a reality for everyone, every day, everywhere. So I hope 
that you continue with us on these series and if you have any questions please feel free to contact me I'll be very happy to answer all your questions and until then I wish you a very successful 2015 in which we really advance human rights for everyone everywhere every day see you next time bye bye Thank you.